We all know healthcare is expensive and sometimes the bills just pile up. That's what's happened to Mona. Unfortunately, the pensioner's situation escalated when she turned to buy now, pay later to get by. A desperate decision she now regrets. That everything's going up. I'm scared of where we're going to end up. We're going towards poverty. 52-year-old Mona is terrified and drowning in debt. Every time I go into the shopping centre, I end up with a stomach ache and I end up with crying. She says living on a disability pension, paying bills is almost impossible and grocery shopping has become a gamble. And when you get to the checkout, you can't eat, like you don't have enough money, you have to return half of your shopping. So how much do you have left at the end of each week? Do you really want to know? Barely $10, $20 maybe. It hurts. Because I can't afford to go out. When Mona first used buy now, pay later, she admits it was for things she wanted, but now says the lending schemes are her only way to get by. Afterpay, zip pay, hum. She's got several accounts, and so far she's racked up $22,000 in credit card, finance, and buy now, pay later debt. Very difficult because I'm relying on my credit cards. I'm relying on um, zip pay, zip money, after pay, because the income I'm getting, which is disability income, um, it's not enough. A buy now, pay later, the joke inside our business is buy now and pay later for a lot of Australians. Absolutely. Former debt collector Lawrence Barlow used to chase people like Mona. His company, Credit Reboot, now helps them. The truth of it is, it hasn't been good for any of these Australians that have walked through that door that should have been well and truly locked up. Lawrence says 20% of people who use buy now, pay later will miss a payment. He says often the responsibility should also fall on the credit provider for allowing people to spiral so far into the red. You can go to financial counsellors and they will almost certainly um, be able to identify the compliance breaches and the regulations that have been broken and those counsellors will be able to write off the exorbitant fees and other charges. The government is cracking down on the unregulated industry. Later this year, the laws will tighten, bringing them in line with credit consumer protection. You won't be able to get yourself in as much trouble at lightning speed that we're, that we're seeing at the moment. Mona hates to think how she is going to survive without access to buy now, pay later. I'm not thinking just about myself, I'm thinking about everybody. I've seen a lot of people suffer. No one left behind because we should always look after the disadvantaged and the vulnerable. She's pleading with the Prime Minister. You promised us that you wouldn't leave us behind. You would help the vulnerable. You're making it a nightmare for us, not a dream. It's a nightmare for us, low-income families.